Six candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds with 50 eyes and popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see. Cause Doug loves movies. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug, and I love movies. This is Doug Loves Movies! And I dare say, I don't like to tip these kind of things, but I think this is maybe the most drunk I've been. <laughs> <laughs> drunk and high before uh, a, a show here in Los Angeles. I, I may have been more drunk or more high in a previous one, but I really went too far today. <laughs> And we're coming to you once again from the UCB Franklin location in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. It's Tuesday, May you have an eighth, and I'm still I'm still writing May 7th on my checks. May I, may I check out your name tags? Do we have some name tags? Oh, we got name tags! We got Madam Maddox Fury Road. So I assume your name is Maddox. Okay. Uh, we got Mike's cousin Vinny? Vinny. So are you Mike or Vinny? Mike. Oh, you're Mike. Okay, good job. <laughs> I I know what I know what this one is: the good, the Matt, and the ugly. There's nobody named Good or Ugly, so you must be named Matt, right? <laughs> Ooh, Kari. It's, it's pronounced Kerry, but K-A-R-I, and you've got like a bloody uh, canary, canary scenario. You got a canario. <laughs> Holy shit, what's that uh, stormtrooper helmet over there? It's a stone trooper. It's a stone trooper? All right, the exit's over there. <laughs> All right, so we got plenty of name tags to choose from tonight. Thank you guys for bringing those. And thank you to Rosemont, Illinois, Chicago, also in Illinois, and, and Lexington, Kentucky, for... <laughs> I don't know why I can't say Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, we had uh, great shows this past weekend, and uh, I think at Comedy Off-Broadway in Lexington, I, they might have a Douglas Movies uh, in the future. The first Douglas Movies in Rosemont is available now for free wherever you get your podcasts. And you can get Day 2 with Adam Burke, Jeff Tate, and Colt Cabana for $2 at douglasmovies.com or in the comedy album section of iTunes soon. Like, There's a weird delay on that, so that'll be like a week from now. Doug Plugs, this Sunday, it's my annual Douglas Movies taping at Comedy Works in Denver at 420. Wednesday, May 23rd, Douglas Movies returns to the Neptune Theater, home of Neptune's Jacuzzi in, in Seattle, Washington. And Sunday, May 27th, Douglas Movies is back at the Royal Cinema in Toronto, Canada, and the next show here at UCB Franklin is on Tuesday, May 29th. You don't want to... I mean, this is a great lineup tonight, but that one you do not want to miss. <laughs> <laughs> little insider info, little insider trading. Uh, you guys do not want to miss the May 29th show based on who I've got booked at this point. Are you ready to meet our guests for tonight? <laughs> Please give it up for Sarah Schaefer, Sean Jordan, Kelly McInerney, and Dustin Ibarra. Woo! Look at them. Look at them go. Oh, my God. They're all here. Hey. All right. Let's meet them individually, starting with uh, first-timer Kelly McInerney is here. Hello. Hey, were you trying to turn your microphone on? I wasn't sure if it was. <laughs> you were working the switch. Like, Thank you for being here. Thanks Holly for Weirdo on uh, social media. Yep. Callum yeah. McInerney was taken on Twitter, actually. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's it. I mean, that's, you know, it's not the most unusual name, so I, I get it. So you went with Holly Weirdo, <laughs> even though your name is not Holly. 
People do call me Holly sometimes <laughs> because of that. Sup, Holly? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, you are uh, the host of a... Uh, co-host of a podcast yeah me and my friend jess androsky yeah and it's uh i love the premise of this podcast tell everybody how this podcast works it's called imd weed and uh we go to the movies <laughs> yeah we get stoned uh we smoke in my car uh go to the movies and then review the movie after uh with a guest yeah <laughs> I love it. I'm in. I'm in. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it sometime. And uh, I heard through uh, tweets about your podcast that you did not. You're not a big fan of Infinity War. No, I'm not. I'm not. All right, spite. shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. That's all we need to know. I just love Spider-Man. No That's spoilers. It. No spoilers. So you're all into the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Oh, a hundred. And you didn't feel he was in Infinity War enough. No, he did great in it. Like oh. my favorite. Like my favorites did great. But every ev- everything else was shitty. Like after I watched Infinity War, I watched Spider Man Homecoming again for a nice palate cleanser of just like great superhero movies. Well, I'll tell you, I do enjoy Tom Holland in that movie, but you know, to me the MVPs and you guys can agree or disagree are the Guardians and Doctor Strange. Those oh. and, and and then Thor. <laughs> nobody agrees. Nobody, then, cares. nobody agrees. And then and then Spider Man. I mean, you know, I mean, there, there's I'm so like, many characters. Like, you, you know, everybody's got somebody to love. But, uh, I'm you with know, you with Guardians. I like Guardians. The Guardians aspect of Infinity War really, really boosted it for me. Like, I was very excited to, to see all of them. And then they split up the Guardians cleverly so that, like, you know, in two different storylines, you still have some Guardians. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's very Guardians-heavy, Infinity yeah. War. And, and that's, Dax and, th- and that's not a bad thing. Yeah, he's amazing. He's so funny. He's very good. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah, and thanks. let's say hello to another, you know, I've had so many guests for so many years, I, I lose track sometimes, but I'm pretty sure... So this is the first time that we've had Sarah Schaefer on yes. the show. Hi, yeah. Is that true? Yes, it is true. I'm first time excited. ever. Yeah. I've been a big fan for a long time. Your, you know, your stand-up comedy and your TV shows and your podcasts. And thank you, uh, thank you for, for being here for this. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> it. What are, you, uh, what are you up to lately? Oh, you know, just... uh, (laughs) You know. That's uh, like when the relatives ask that, when you go go home for the holidays. What are you doing in show business now? Oh, a bunch of things that you don't get. (laughs) Yeah. uh, (laughs) A lot of things you don't understand. Yeah, my dumb relatives. Um, well, uh, I love this one. It's I, I can't talk about it yet. There's a thing uh, you can't talk about? There is one thing. I love that. that, is, that is, but but I've got so many things I can't talk about because they're not things at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I don't talk about uh, them. I but talk holy about shit, it it's fun exist. to have that stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I, I've been on the road. I go back and forth on the road and then coming back and doing stand-up here and working on some other stuff. And it's been great. All right. You know? Right on. You just did a show earlier tonight, right? I did. Over at the uh, Bar Lubitsch. Lubitsch. Yeah. Bar Lubitsch. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a cute little bar. Named after the great Ernest Lubitsch, I assume. Sure. <laughs> it's a movie reference. It's like a Russian-themed bar, which oh. nowadays, I don't it's know It's perfect that. in the gay district. <laughs> It's in the gay part of town, Rush, gay Russians <laughs> watch, watching comedy. That's got to be amazing. Uh, it is. <laughs> got to be a perfect yeah. performance space. It is. It's my, it's my people. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Sean Jordan is here, everybody. <laughs> Goddamn right. Look at him go with his silent finger snaps. Oh, you can hear him kind of. I now you can't hear them when I do them in the mic, but trust yeah, me. Yeah, you, 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 like you, you're doing them. Yeah, you're doing them. Oh, oh, oh those, are, those are pretty good. <laughs> it's from growing up with all these kids in middle school that yeah, chewed tobacco. Yeah, I didn't like it then either. I didn't. Well, <laughs> I wasn't thrilled about it. It was but not I, popular. I learned how to do it. It was popular in Edison Middle School, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, 1994. <laughs> yeah, I want to say. Yeah. What's up, but Sean? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. What? Hanging out, man. Are you, things are buck. Things are always buck, yeah. You're okay. Bud Light on a Tuesday? What day is it? Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, you sure that's not a buck light? It's a <laughs> There's no such thing as a buck light. Well, there might be. They're all if buck you, heavies. If you work it hard enough, <laughs> if you keep pushing that word buck. I Yeah, well, I can't believe people haven't... Anyone on this panel ever used buck as an adjective? 
No. No. The silent head shaking. You know. might after tonight because, uh, I mean, Sean's taught me how to do it. Like, <laughs> like, like the other day I was, I put some money in a vending machine to get uh, some Pop-Tarts. <laughs> and the Pop-Tarts <laughs> fell down. And then also my entire amount of money I paid for them also came into Ooh, the change. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I was like, I was like, oh shit, that's Buck. That's Buck. There it is. <laughs> kind of a couple ways. Yeah. Because you get pop tarts. Yeah, and it's, I was pretty into it. And it was a dollar. Thanks for being here, dude. Thanks for having me, dude. <laughs> oh, oh shucks. Oh shucks. You got the you got applause at the beginning and the end of your segment. Oh shucks. Of your introduction segment. Uh, let's see if that happens for Dustin Ibarra. Oh, man, you guys, come on. Thank you. Ah, ah, ah. How's it going, dude? It's going good, man. You? Uh, well, you know, I'm all right. I've, uh, I'm, I'm just waiting on pins and needles to see if they make more episodes of uh, Kevin Probably Saves the World. So, oh, yeah. Starring you and our friend Jason Ritter. Yes. Hopefully yeah. they do. Thank you. That yeah. right there. ABC. Watch, right? ABC <laughs> Television. Does anybody watch that? I yeah, right? I, I, I heard yeah. it's popular. I heard I heard Roseanne is on there. Roseanne, you got this. Looks like a Roseanne loving crowd. We're in uh, Hollywood, right? You guys, uh, okay, all right, <laughs> okay, all right. I read them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but Kevin probably said, we're going to find out this week what happened. Oh, this week? This week. Oh, this shit. is because up front are next get week. A, get so out and so. vote, everybody. <laughs> Go. Vote for Kevin Probably Saves the World. Yeah. Starring our friends Dustin and, uh, and Jason Ritter. Yes. Yeah, and yes. Ho- hopefully there'll be more of that. When would you go back shooting if there, if there was more? Uh, I don't know. I've never made it this far. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is like, uh, this is, hey, we're going to the final boss. I don't know what's after this door. Right well, here. I'll just answer for you sometime this summer. Okay, uh, okay cool. And I'm going to be back in Atlanta in August, so hopefully I'll get both of you guys on the show. That'd be awesome, That'd yeah. That'd be great. Uh, instead, I'll have to settle for whoever's alive on Walking Dead. <laughs> I made friends with some people on Walking Dead, but they might not be alive. Everything was Walking Dead in Atlanta. That was awesome. Yeah, Everything. no, and now uh, like Atlanta, uh, our friends uh, uh, Kumail Nanjani and well, not really our friend, but I wish he was my friend Dave Bautista <laughs> are shooting a, uh, a a buddy comedy in oh, in Atlanta oh, this oh, summer. This could get high. Like <laughs> yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be hyped. That's gonna be neat. But they rap before the time I get there, so I can't I can't get them on the show. But you know, oh, that's how that shit works. I hope it's a remake of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. That'd be <laughs> that'd be quite fun. You know? Either one could play either one. You know, you don't have to go with what's the obvious. You know. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I my uh, finger on the pulse. I think it's a brand new script. I think it's a fresh buddy comedy. What's that? Like one you've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it's not a remake of something? I don't get it. Dog. I don't think it's a remake of anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. It might be a remake of. It's the film version of Kevin Probably Saves the World, ah. starring Bautista Kumail Nanjani. There it is. Oh, man, they recast yeah. me, damn it. <laughs> it's a fun, it's a fun crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Quite fun. Let's talk prize bag, you guys. <clears throat> Starting with Sean Jordan. All right, let's What'd talk. What'd you bring for the bag? I'm, I'm assuming candy. It's not from Target. No, it's from Target. The bag's from Target. Yeah, yeah. I got... Uh, these new that can't be that can't be fun on the mic. Sorry about that. Uh, there's new Sour Patch Kids, so I brought some. What do you Sour mean Patch new kids. ones? They're, they say fire on them. All right, pass those down. You're crazy, right? You're not gonna die. don't you Come dare on, open. Throw them. them over Are here. Are you gonna open them? Yeah, I'm gonna open them. There's a new type of fire patch. Fire Patch Kids. <laughs> those are called Fire Patch Kids. There's some redheaded Sour Patch Kids. Whoa, and it's actually a kid on fire. Like, it's the Sour Patch guy with his head's on fire. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, Fire Patch Kids. I'm in. Ah. All right, what else you got? A uh, copy of Spaceballs. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I was wondering. I was like, is this going to get a round of applause? So, popular Rick Moranis vehicle. If you guys remember <laughs> Rick Moranis. It was a popular vehicle for Rick Moranis who has since retired from acting, but, you know, he had popular vehicles back in the day. These then, Sour Patch kids are not fiery at all. <laughs> He's open them 
Well, it's crazy that you won the prize bag already, and you open those. That you won the games that we haven't played yet, and you open those. Everybody, everybody just pissing all over my gift. I take it, oh. I take it back. They have a little fiery aftertaste. They got a little kick to them? It's got a little tapatio on it. Does it really? Yeah. That's, oh, that's you never... Cholula. Oh, like when they put spicy stuff on mangoes? Yeah, that's mm. okay. I get it. Yeah. That's I'm exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, my Hispanic side is loving this right now. I'm fucking eating it up. Yeah, the green lime. Ones, the green ones taste like limes. Mm. I've five. never had a sour patch kid and thought like, yeah, that should be spicy though. <laughs> do you have any ranch for the sour patch kid <laughs> that I could dip? If it's, I do. If it's in this uh, action figure package of Rocket and Groot, if there is little, it's fun that we were just talking about. The Avengers, because yeah. I got a little action I love figure those guys. packages. You know, I am Groot, right? Yeah. How he says it, it's funny. Right? He rules. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's my prize pack. Fifty percent of them survive Infinity War. Easy. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. It. Oh, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. <laughs> Man, I barely just saw it. Not. Yeah, I can't even. Is he the what do you mean you barely just saw it? Did you close one eye the whole time? <laughs> I was with my Aunt Leslie and my mom, Kelly Jordan, who can't get enough of Thor, if you can believe that. Big fans of Thor and Chris Pratt. It's weird. It's weird when you those hit that guys age. Are, those guys are two good ones. They're, they're, their interactions in the well, movie are different are reasons. But yeah, when they hit that age, when they're like, oh my God, there's Thor. How does she spell Kelly? K-E-L-L-Y. Cool. <laughs> cool oh, with a K. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she does. That's it right. the best way to spell it. Yep. That's it's the best way to spell Sarah's without an H. True. Mm -hmm. Best way to still spell Dustin is with an E barra. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. But Sean is just, you know, however you want to spell it, I guess. Is it S C A N? Playboy. Goddamn right it is. Oh, when you said Playboy, I was like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> 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 Thank you for the fire. I had patch. to get Doug there. Yep, well, you know. In Doug Spanish, says these now. are sour patch mijos. Uh, fire. Uh, Ethereal, right? Uh, fier. Uh. I don't know. Yeah. They're, not, they're not sour oh, patch no. pendejos? No. Sour caliente. Patch. That's what it is. These caliente uh, sour patch kids, it's, man. It's fuego, right? Fuego. Isn't that fire? Sour yeah. patch fuego? Yeah, these kids oh, are in fuego. Fuego patch. Yeah, I love, fuego I, I love patch eating kids. these. Uh, My fuego patch. I love eating these children that are on fire. Isn't that, isn't I had to go that what to they call Lindsay Lohan's? Yeah, fuego patch. She had to go to the doctor yeah. for her fuego patch at one yeah. point. <laughs> I tried to grow a Fuego patch once. It was the 90s. <laughs> she was Miss Firecracker, I believe. Is that right? Crotch. I don't know. Fire crotch. Fire crotch. Yeah. A firecracker. I tried, I tried to class it up a little bit. What do you got for the prize bag, Sarah? Uh, okay, so I, you, uh, I got booked on this kind of last minute and didn't have time to go home. So. Yeah, that's cool. Um, uh, first off, I have a rock that says dream on it. <laughs> And I. So everyone what do you another? mean? First off, that's plenty. <laughs> a rock that says "dream" and it fits right in your hand in the way just to just to kill someone with it. Um, and <laughs> You're waving it pretty hard over here. I like it. Inspired it. me because my other um, gift for the goodie bag is a coupon. Uh, that I made um, and it says this coupon entitles you to one free item from Sarah Schaefer's Etsy shop so I do have I didn't get get to go home to bring the item so you'd have to email me and I'll send you the item but I have Etsy shop that has inspirational quotes on rustic pieces of driftwood in multiple fonts that's literally what it is um, and then some cross stitch stuff so you get one free item from my Etsy shop <laughs> so that's a uh, uh, yeah that's fantastic. So that's my, I love it yeah. pass oh, all yeah. that stuff down here just slide it down the table you should have thrown the rock down there. Yeah, that is a serious rock. Yeah, very yeah. biblical, very canon. Yeah, you could shit. you could dream some real shit if you get hit hard enough with this rock. Yeah. yeah. Kelly, what do you got for us? I got a bunch of stuff. I went a little crazy. Um, so let's get into. It. I got a, a a Hot Wheels, a little green Hot Wheels guy. <laughs> um, uh huh. I got a, a bubble, uh, I guess, cigar. It's kind of hard. It's been in my uh, apartment for a while. And it's, I and just want to get rid of it. Guy's very excited about it over there. Yeah. Cactus candy from Arizona. Um, That's where all the cactus candy <laughs> comes from. Do you, do you guys think when Gamora was born, she got one of those, her dad got one of those green cigars that just got passed out? <laughs> 
Excellent <laughs> reference from cinema, Sean. <laughs> I'm giving it a shot, you know? Doug loves movies, I heard. Uh, <laughs> when they I, all right. <laughs> when I was stoned one night, I was like, I'm going to start drawing. And so I went to Amazon and I bought a sketchbook, but I accidentally bought a tiny one. <laughs> Yeah, no reason to hang on to that. <laughs> How'd you accidentally buy that? I didn't check the size. Like, uh, they had like different sizes. You just grabbed it and know. walked straight to the register, holding no, it no, down? No, no, it was on Amazon. Oh, on Amazon. Yeah. Sure, I should listen up. I should listen up. Uh, a American Gods koozie I got at South by. Uh, also some Euro- European Union sunglasses <laughs> from South by. Well, I'm going to hang on to those. My... <laughs> My old roommate still gets mail sent to us, and he gets, like, book reviews, I guess. But we open it, and this is uh, The Odyssey of Echo Company by Doug Stanton. Not for resale, uh, so it might be good. I heard, I heard Doug was the last man Stanton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> My cousin gave me this weird Okay, rock. you don't have to bring everything that you have. <laughs> It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Dustin's uh, feeling it really, it really <laughs> inadequate after <laughs> this following you. Uh, I should have stopped at Walgreens. Uh, it's okay. I bought enough for all of us. Uh, it's a romper that <laughs> makes me look like a, a desperate housewife. <laughs> and I couldn't return it. Oh, wow. (laughs) That is child size. I would get so much camel toe in this. It's too short for my long body. It's it's a weird, like it makes everybody look weird. Rompers don't work on me. Mm -hmm. Too long. Yeah. That's a terrible way to describe your own body as a woman. (laughs) As a woman to be like, I'm long. (laughs) That's not not good. (laughs) Some dudes are into long chicks. (laughs) If you want to hook up to me, you have to have a good long game. <laughs> a t-shirt that I got when I saw Hanson at South by. <laughs> it uh, just says Nearpod. I don't okay, know. Okay, yeah, that doesn't then, make any sense. I hope, I hope you're at the bottom. Last one, last one. Last thing. Uh, my roommate has two copies of Garden State, which is one of my favorite <laughs> movies. <laughs> I just watched it last week and I had a great cry because um, I'm from New Jersey uh, I, and I'm an idiot, I guess, but I love it. Your roommate uh, had two copies of yeah. Garden State. Yeah. Oh, also here's a face mask. <laughs> what? No explanation. It made me, Bella. Yeah, it made me burn my face the first time I had it, so it's up for you. Don't need it. You don't need to burn your face again. Yeah. Once and you here, did it that you, one time. You Do you need that bag? bag? Oh, no. I can have the bag too? Great. It's a broken bag. I'm going to need this bag. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep it going. For all this stuff. We could all do that. <laughs> yeah, that's Great it. Great job. All right, Dustin. A lot uh, of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is like we got to go to Goodwill after this. Um, don't, I feel got, like, don't feel like you had to bring this much stuff. I got a, <laughs> I got a T-shirt that says "I love nuggets." Um, right? Why do you guys like it? It's from an old joke you've never heard. So <laughs> I'm glad that this shirt can stand on its own. And best buds hat, which I, oh, I, I love that. I got this the other day, so uh, it's still got the sticker on it. So there you go. That's cool. You know, it should be two hats where it says best on one hat and buds on the other. Sure. Oh, oh yeah. Smart. Stoners you know. don't have friends, though. That's the thing. Uh, and very then you guys smoke a cross joint together. Well, the stoners have friends, but you can't coordinate hat, hat wearing. <laughs> that stuff. Yeah. It's a little complicated. It's a lot. But that's, uh, that's a lot of great stuff going into the prize bag, and somebody's going to win it later tonight. But first, I have to ask each of my guests uh, the same question, one question that, Nine I ask, inches. that I ask all the time. How long? <laughs> what size sandwich do you prefer? Foot long. Oh, I thought you just said nine inches. I was talking about my penis. I thought you were going to ask me how big my penis oh, was. I wasn't. Cause that's... <laughs> that's usually what you ask us, though. Penis size? Well, before this. I don't think you know. I, I don't think you. I think you've been too fucked up on the show before. So understand the. By the way, Doug is happened. still loading up the bag. Yeah. <laughs> How much stuff well, you, there is? You got to be delicate with those in fuego kids that are open already. <laughs> Toss one down here. I didn't even get one. Slide one down like your Just sandwich here. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah, it worked. <laughs> They are okay. Are you gonna put the open bag in there? You guys are bummed. Whoever whoever doesn't get that, go get a bag. They're dope. Yeah, (laughs) I brought some stuff too. 
<laughs> Doug, what'd you bring? I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna thank, let me know? Thank you for asking. <laughs> Doug Loves Movies t-shirt. Oh, shit. No. They are too. Um, a sign that says Legions of Skanks, Legion of Skanks in Los Angeles. Woo! From when they were here just recently. The whole Legion was here skanking it up. A gun that used to shoot uh, confetti, but now it's just blanks. <laughs> well, you know, that's, that could still be fun in its own way. It's a good noise. How yeah. many confetti loads does one of those fit? Yeah, Peacemaker uh, Christmas Pong. Whoa. That's yeah. sick. <laughs> Makes me wish I smoked weed. All this that does a lot. It right? makes me wish I celebrated Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of rubber, so it makes me wish I took things into my asshole. Oh! Hey, hey oh. Huh? Huh? Just it's got a very dildo feel to it. It does. And um and then some uh, Douglas movie stickers. So all that stuff is in the Woo! prize bag. Woo! Somebody's winning it all of it tonight, but First, we have to just quickly go through the panel, starting with Sean Jordan. Uh, what was the last movie you saw? I finally saw Black Panther. I didn't. I I saw it after I saw Infinity War, so I thought that was going to be a bummer, but it wasn't. It there wasn't too much that you needed to know. It's but Black Panther was really good. You can watch them out of order for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I but, didn't. I don't like to, but I did, and yeah. it was really good. I loved it. Every yeah. part about it. Was it's a really good. I, I, you know, I as much as I I liked Infinity War, but I, I gotta say Black Panther is still. Uh, more, one of my favorites. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. I liked it better. Sure. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah I thoroughly enjoyed off. it. I watched it on an American Airlines flight, which they it's those long flights where you get the fucking TV on the seat. I don't get those a lot. I go on the short flights. I don't really go distances. So I, I was excited to have new releases on the flight. Yeah, it's right it there fun. in front of your face. Black Panther doesn't come out on iTunes it until tomorrow, I don't think. And I saw it on Sunday. God damn it. Oh, wow. You just you, it really you really go to that yeah. that finger snap thing a lot. It's still in theaters too if you have like movie pass. I don't. I don't. Oh, you should. Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> but movie pass, didn't they like try to make they, a move to being once a week and then they're now they're back to daily again? Yeah. I'll tell you what they did. It's at, a fishy operation that movie pass. At the Americana pass. in Glendale, they won't let you use your movie pass at the fucking counter. You have to go to the movie pass yeah. thing. So there's oh, like yeah. 50 people in line and drama. nobody at the I know, it's I crazy. Instagram. No ah, one's helping you crazy. figure it out. So, it's a bunch of old people. Try, it's, it is. It's like a bunch of elderly people. And then you miss people. seats because there's like it's four kiosks. It's just that place, though, because AMC Burbank is cool. They don't do it? Yeah, they, they'll they take it. Yeah. It's just... Century Theater. Well, this is when I learned that movie pass is essentially a credit card. Yeah. They, and they, they put the... Uh, the, no one explained that to me, and so it was a lot of... And when I said old people, I meant like everyone who approaches the kiosk is acting like an old person. <laughs> like saying racist like, shit. How do I do this? <laughs> yeah. Eating hey, cat. <laughs> Are you sure that's ma- Black Panther? <laughs> That'd be great. No, Grandpa, I swear we're seeing something else. They, oh, just got hey. a, they just got a bag full of loose cabbage that they're eating like old people do. <laughs> what? Feels like old people eat cabbage. Am I wrong? I think you are. A loose bag of cabbage? Raw loose cabbage? Bag. Sounded like an old person thing. <laughs> It's not, no, cr- no, it's not crunchy enough for the old people to eat in the movies and it annoy me. Well, someone's laughing, so it worked. Uh, there was almost a fight in the movie theater <laughs> the other day. Someone had their phone on, and the guy in front of me uh, yelled at the person during it, like, turn off your phone. It was one of the, the guy shut it off, but it was very, like, whoa. It gets <laughs> tense. Yeah. It does get it tense does when get that tense, shit happens. I don't like what it. movie was it? Um... Infinity War. Oh. Yeah. And it was like, it was like, dude, he wasn't bothering anyone. I wanted, then I wanted to be like, leave him alone. <laughs> just, <laughs> who said that? And just stay quiet. Dustin, we do not approve of anyone looking at their phone for any reason during the movie. Not one bit. Do we just, police just it? Get, just get up and go out into the hallway if you have to get on your True phone. Story. Do you say, though, get off your phone? What if the guy's got a knife? Yeah, yeah. I say, I say, I say, put down that knife <laughs> <laughs> and get, get off, off your phone. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Put down that knife. I don't care phone. for either of those things. <laughs> it's Infinity War. Yeah. What was the last movie you saw, Sarah? I saw Tully the other night. You did with oh Charlize Theron. Yeah. Uh, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> I, I did not pronounce Theron. that right. Charlize. Yeah. Uh, it was really good. And you liked I, it? I cried a lot at the end and um, was out in the lobby and like lo- looked at my boyfriend and was like, do I have makeup on my face? And he just like burst out laughing because it was just like streaks. And then someone I knew walked up and I was like, 
I, can I go to the bathroom first before we have an interaction in the lobby of this movie theater and get all the makeup off my face? But um, she had it on her face, too, because she saw Tully as well, and she, too, cried. Everybody who sees Tully gets a fucking nightmare bring, face. Bring a, bring a Neutrogena <laughs> makeup wipe with you. Okay. So you can get that mascara wow. off your face after. I did not. I, I, I cry very easily. I though. didn't know it was that emotional. There's a, I don't want to give anything away, but the ending is emotional. Okay. And uh, it's a really good movie. All right. Feels like the sequel to Young Adult in a way. Sure. You know? Same actress, same director, yeah. same writer. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, different character, but Yeah, still. sure. All right. Kelly? Uh, I saw I Feel Pretty the other day. You did? It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it better than Trainwreck, but it was fine. Whoa. That's interesting. I like Trainwreck better. Yeah, I don't know. I just... I liked, I guess I liked the other people. Like, I thought Michelle Williams was really fun. Sure. Um, and Sashir. But it was just, I don't like the whole premise. Like, I don't know. I just wish women would stop hating their self, themselves in movies. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry but she to bring loved it herself. down. No, it's, I mean. <laughs> That's the premise. That she loves whole... herself as, like, because she's an idiot. She hit her head. She hit her head. She's like, she's just dumb. That's why she likes herself. <laughs> I yeah. also didn't like that she <laughs> broke a, a spin uh, bike. Like, you're not that big. To, yeah, she's know? not. I don't yeah, know. she's not giant enough to break a exercise machine. But, you know, but she, she puts Williams. the effort in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Williams is good, though. Yeah, and our, I fri- like her our range. friend uh, Rory Scovel yeah, is very funny. Right? Rory's good. Yeah, yeah. He, it's it, the the humor in it's actually kind of subtle. It's not it's not that over the top, but it's also a movie where a woman, you know, thinks she's pretty because she hit her head really hard. <laughs> you know, so it's just sort of it was it's, too it's on really the nose. wacky premise, but then a kind of subtle execution of it. Yeah, it was too on the nose too because she's watching big. And then she hits her head? No, she's watching Big and actually goes to the fucking yeah. abandoned amusement park and tries to get Zoltar to make her pretty. It was just and like then the was... next day hits her head. Why not just n- not bother with the Zoltar yeah. and just hit wake your up, fucking head? Up yep, yep. That's, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't and make any sense. He woke up big. He well, like, woke up in his bed big, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So she should have woken up. She was hoping was gonna, she yeah, would I woke see. up pretty, but no, didn't work out. No. Had to smash her skull mm-hmm. against something. Yeah. Had to have a brain. And then, trauma. oh shit, I'm so pretty. And then every and people bought into how pretty she was. And then, but then of course she hits her. Spoiler. Oh, <laughs> Don't hit, you dare. She hits her head again. <laughs> God damn it. I was gonna watch that. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dustin. I haven't seen it yet. You think you got to read on a movie and then I feel bad because Rory's a friend of mine. I haven't seen it yet, and there's other friends of mine in the movie. Oh yeah, oh. our friend uh, yeah. Nikki Glaser Nikki's plays a, plays a uh, hot model bitch. Yeah, <laughs> she does it very well. She does it very well. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, it's good. I I, I, uh, I it remind the premise. I haven't, again, I haven't seen it yet, but the premise reminds me of one of my favorite movies, Teen Witch. Where hey. she beco- she wants to be popular and then she gets Shh. magical powers and at the end <laughs> yeah. she realizes she didn't need the necklace. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I don't know. There's not any like fi- like rapping guys in it. It's less fun. Oh, so for it's, sure. Right. Okay. So there's no rap scene. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna go see. And that they song. call it a movie. <laughs> it, they call that a movie without a rap scene. I don't really. No give thanks. It. No. I'm trying to stop. Don't, not for me. Uh, take that. Was it? Top that. Top that. Yeah. Top that. Dustin? <laughs> yes. Can you follow what's happening? Uh, yes. Hey, I have to sit here and listen to y'all talk about Infinity War, okay? So I'll talk about Top That. Well, the thing about much. Infinity War is I can talk about it endlessly because... Infinity. Exactly. Oh. Sure. Dustin, what was the last movie you saw? I saw Downsizing. I rented That was it. the last movie you saw. <laughs> yeah, it, I swear. You saw that and then decided yeah. to stop watching movies. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it a lot. It just came out on a... Um, you did? I did. Why? I just thought it was fun. I didn't like it. There. Okay, man. This is... But this might... Okay. There's so much... Get stuff. in. Dive in. You, what you're dealing with tiny people, there's so much they could have fucking done. First off, there's no scene 
where like a big person is attacking a tiny person. Which well, I thought so that, tiny. Remember the city? I thought when I saw the city, I'm like, oh, I can't wait till a big person gets loose. <laughs> Fucking hey, Matt Damon, and picks up the car and like, he looks at him through the window. Like, oh. yeah, they missed a real opportunity for all those little people to be crushed. There was no, yeah, there was nothing like that. Um, there were at the end. It was like there was no real enemy. Poverty was like the enemy, and then <laughs> you watch it and you're like, okay, tiny people. I got to be tiny yeah. now. Plot shit. twists yeah. were the enemy of that movie because they <laughs> decided to do some that were completely uninteresting. It's it, yeah. it was sold like a comedy, and it's yeah. not a comedy really at all. When he was on the river floating, you know, uh, uh, someone could have jumped in and ah, tidal wave, you know, something like that could have happened there. Oh. No, just, hey, what's going on with the economics in our fucking tiny-ass universe? It's like, well, I don't know. Like, it's, let's go help some people over here, you know? It's like, all right. Let's get some fucking tiny, uh, tiny airplanes, you know? Shoot a tiny missile at a big guy. Let's make this happen, you know? That's what you paid to see. Tiny people. I paid, right. friends I with paid, ants, I paid to see a tiny person interacting with a saltine, regular saltine <laughs> cracker. Yeah. You want to see shit like that, right? I love that. No, yeah. no, no. Like, I liked the movie. It was too long, and there were, I have other problems with it. But it doesn't sound like I like loved it. any time they showed a tiny person interacting with a large object. That giant bottle of vodka Ooh. just sitting there? Oh, I loved it. Super I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, one of my favorite movies. So <laughs> I was such a fat kid. The only thing I remember that oatmeal pie scene. Remember Remember that? Oh my God! I, as a fat kid, I was like, "Oh, if I were small, this ah, I could have so much of this." <laughs> <laughs> you see things differently as a fat kid, man. Well, Dustin, you can have so much of this because <laughs> oh, this is the part of the show where I say, "Turn it off, Bert. Let the games begin." Woo! We're gonna play some Woo! games, but. First, we have to pick some name tags. People brought a bunch of name tags. You guys have to go out into the audience and decide who you'd like to play on behalf of and uh, bring it back to your seat. And while you do that, we'll do this. We'll be back after these words about addiction. Support for today's show comes from American Addiction Centers, AAC. Sometimes it's hard to ask for help. Addiction is a nationwide problem that can affect anyone, and there's no easy fix. Recovery isn't one size fits all. AAC is revolutionizing the addiction treatment industry with holistic, evidence-based treatment practices. They offer innovative technology to ensure safety throughout detox and treatment, specializing in dual diagnosis or co-occurring mental health issues and addiction. They work hard to make sure individual needs are met, empowering individuals in their lifelong recovery journey in a comfortable, home-like setting. AAC even offers in-house genetic testing so you can find out if you're prone to any kind of prescription drug sensitivity or interactions. This is especially important in the midst of the current opioid epidemic. If you struggle with drugs or alcohol, or maybe you're not even sure whether or not you have a problem, call American Addiction Centers at 888-708-4412, available 24-7. Your life is worth more than your addiction. That's 888-708-4412. Don't wait until it's too late. We're back. (laughs) Here we go. Yeah. You. Hell that was yeah. a very pleasant name tag choosing experience. The audience was super mellow. Who'd you pick, Sean? Uh, Austin Translation. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. It's a fun one. It's got a ripoff of uh, somebody Austin. else did Austin Translation in uh, another city, and I think I think what? this person figured <laughs> figured out they could do that. Yeah, but it's still still good. Does what? it have? Is it my face instead of Bill Murray? No, it's not. No, it's just Bill Murray. Yep. All right. That's just Bill Murray. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, just yeah. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? I did another one that was Bill Murray, but that one got messed up. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> you didn't know the Bill Murray. All right. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah. know what's going Austin on. Austin translation. Huh? Yeah. Know what I mean? I don't know how the name Austin fits into another Bill Murray title, but I'll, I'll take his word for it. Who are you playing for, Sarah? Is it Kari or Carrie? It's Carrie. Carrie. Like uh, like the uh, 
don't take care Why of the problem. Why are you speaking to me like I'm dumb for not knowing? K A R. No, because I made the same mistake earlier. Oh, and uh, I apologize. You, you're not Sorry. dumb at all. Well, I wasn't you're out just, here. You're just my equal. And uh, um, uh, but it's a very cute poster because she drew poster. it, and it's like take you know Carrie at the prom. Uh, you know she's all yeah, bloody covered and in fiery blood and, and fire, stuff. fire. But it's kids. also but she's cuter than she's got cute eyeballs. And I love the sweater she's currently yeah, wearing. The whole so thing is adorable. <laughs> so good job, Carrie, and and good luck getting people to pronounce K A R I. Carrie. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nobody's impulse is to say <laughs> say that's Carrie, but. She insists that it is. Who are you playing for, Kelly? Steven Wars? It's yeah. pretty cool. It's Do I a, get to keep this I don't, super trooper? I bet not. I bet no. he wants it back. And it's not a super trooper. It's a storm trooper. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when your mom steps on it. Get your super troopers out of here. <laughs> I never would have caught that. <laughs> that would have made it right past me. It's got a joint, though, and I'm definitely keeping that. It's got that. a big if, old joint. Could, Is this yeah. something you can actually looks, light? It looks fake. It, it, it's, I don't know. Take the cap off. The red part, this? pop it off. Pop off the cap. Sounds, oh. sounds oh, fake. Look at that. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. That There's looks like the money. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so it's a realer looking joint wrapped in a fake looking joint. Yeah, I get is it. Is what I got out of that. I want to put it on, but if I can't keep it. Throw it on. What you, you can keep it there. if you put it on. Can you hear me still? Yeah. Can we hear you? Say can something. you hear me? No. 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 I can't, can't really hear <laughs> you. I was through. asking, can you hear me? <laughs> That's All tight. Right. That's nice. pretty cool. cool. Steve, Steven Wars. Thank you. It's that, It doesn't have a shit head, though. I don't think. All right. Well, we'll, we'll get into that later. Guess who the shithead is, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check back with you if, if Kelly loses, but my money's on her to win. Hey. I don't. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't placed any money on it. No. <laughs> uh, Dustin. Yes, I got. Uh, is it Nico or Nico? Yeah, uh, Nico, Nico Libre. It's Nico. Nico Libre. It said a Nacho Libre. Yeah, He's yeah. got me on Jack Black's. <laughs> face. Fat, wor- fat uh, wrestler body. Let yeah. me see it. Let's get it down here. It looks here. pretty good. And uh, there was uh, Reese's and Twix attached too. Yeah, that's a, that's what they eat to keep in shape when they're in the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're when they're, they're when better they're, posters. When they're lucha libre, yeah. Yeah, they're better ones, but uh, the Reese's and Twix. I could have went for the joint, but I was like, ah, dusty. <laughs> <sighs> Just get the fucking Reese's and Twix, man. I didn't see the Reese's and Twix until after, and that's a good choice, too, though. I, oh, I saw them since we started the show. <laughs> <laughs> I clocked that it's kinda shit. kind of transfixed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's start with a game called Live, Die, Repeat. <laughs> I'm going to say the title of a movie. First person on this panel, not anybody in the audience, just on the panel, to repeat back to me the title completely and correctly will be the winner of this game. Sean loves this game. Completely it's just, incorrectly? It's just so fun. Completely incorrectly. The whole oh, okay. title, but also the, the right title. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. No. <laughs> Quaxer. Fortune has a cousin what? in the Bronx. My cousin Vinny? Is that what? Is that? <laughs> just repeat back what Quack, I just Quack, said. Quaxer Fortune, Fortune has a cousin has in the Bronx. Sean is our winner. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, we're just. I just haven't heard those words saying, before. We just from, said. From, oh. 1970, starring the great Gene Wilder. I don't that know if he real? played Quaxer or the cousin or n- none of those things. Quaxer I've never seen fortune. the movie, but it's if you if you tweet if if you uh, go on Google and say worst movie titles ever, <laughs> it's 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 right up there. Quaxer Fortune has a cousin in the Bronx, so Sean won that game. So that means Sean gets to go first <laughs> in our next game, which is called Whose Tagline Is It Anyway? Oh sure. 
<laughs> I'll say a tagline from a motion picture to Sean, and then he will try to guess what movie it's from. If he fails, then we'll go to Sarah, and then to Kelly, and then to Dustin, and everybody will get a, a crack at it. But if he gets it right, he gets a point. Sean, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what movie has the tagline, change everything without doing anything? I, po- I apologize. Change everything without changing anything. Oh, well, yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Change everything without changing anything. What do you think that is? It's got to be Terminator 2. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> because it isn't. Sarah, well, I guess I gave it away. Yeah. Uh, I believe it's I Feel Pretty. That is right. I Feel Pretty. Yeah. We were just talking just, about it, Did Sean. you just look that up? <laughs> did you have that before? No, I just... What do you mean did I have it before? Well, I guess it's your goddamn games. You can make them. <laughs> do what you want. <laughs> I should have got it. I All right. So it. Sarah gets that one. You. We'll start with Kelly on this next one. Uh, what movie has the tagline, One Man Saw It Coming? One Man Saw It Coming. <laughs> That's not the right read. One Man Saw It Coming. <laughs> I want to say Final Destination, but I feel like that's not. Oh, yeah, cry. there's not really any men in that He's movie. He's not a man. It's Devin yeah. Sawa. Uh, that's um, a, one of those teen movies. Oh, man. One Man Saw It Coming. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it should be the Nostradamus story. (laughs) (laughs) Is it like, uh, I can't ask questions. I don't know. I'm just going to say Final Destination and just take the loss. (laughs) It's not really a loss. Yeah, that was a good guess. That was fun. Dustin? Uh, Can you repeat it one more time, Doug? (laughs) One man saw it coming. (laughs) Ah, yes. (laughs) Boogie Nights. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but nice with a K <laughs> just Sean <laughs> <laughs> just trying to think of movies that we said earlier Black Panther it doesn't have to be movies we said well, earlier um, I don't know so I'm going to say Black Panther because I okay. said that earlier Sarah The Big Short oh that's that wouldn't be a bad uh, so it was final tagline for that movie, uh, but that's from the movie I Robot. Uh, I mean, uh, oh man, I should have known that. <laughs> yeah, that one guy, Will Smith, was like, "Oh Will shit, Smith. these robots are gonna be a problem." <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, where where did we start that last round with Sean? No, Sarah started. Or Kelly started that. Kelly one. started. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, Kelly. Let's start with you again. What movie has the tagline an existential comedy? An existential That's it? comedy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Seems like there should be more. Downsizing? I bet you if there were more, it might have been a bigger hit. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin? An existential comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, is it like, uh, I don't know, like Days and Confuses? It's not that. No, that's like. Mm, that's not a bad, uh, you know, do you, is that your guess? <laughs> is it my guess, Doug? <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know, is. man. I, I'm going to say uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah. Okay, so you don't want to say Days of Confused. <laughs> I do. I mean, uh, you want to move to this other. Oh, you don't want to. Which one do you want? Um, I stick with Bill and Ted. The wrong one. Okay, that's wrong. Yes. Is it Sean? Days, to, days to Confused? No. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. I wanted it to be so bad. Like I wanted, oh, bad. my God. That's like putting a dollar on my price is right, man. Really, you can't do that. I really wanted it to be that. Sarah? I, I don't know. Being there? <laughs> that, Why? That's, that's a, a great movie, a, and it is sort it's of It's a existential. great movie. It's existential. Not a terrible guess, but the, the correct <laughs> answer is I Heart Huckabees. 
Oh, it's always that. Yeah, yeah. Or they <laughs> try too hard. So so far we have I feel pretty, I robot, and I heart Huckabees. Good luck on this next round, everybody. All right, starting with Kelly. <laughs> uh, I hate going first. Kelly, the tagline is this is not a game. <laughs> I it's clearly a movie. <laughs> so so what a dumb tagline. Definitely definitely starts with I. Hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is not a game? Mm-hmm. Not without a question mark though at the end. Without a question? oh yeah. There's no question mark. Okay. This is not a game. It's just straight up a statement. This is not a I, game. I I I I I <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 the uh, movie. Ay, ay. Whoa, guys, come on now. I um, I uh, I don't play game. I nope. Can't be. Don't play games. That that ruins the tagline. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I love Dustin. New York. What do you think? I love New York. <laughs> uh, battleship. Oh, is it Battleship? I like the way you play. It's not a fucking game. She was really restricted by that eye thing, and you did not care about it at all. I, that when I heard game, I'm like, ah. Yeah. My mind went to, okay, games, movies, mm-hmm. and then it was like a computer program. It just started uh, siphoning through each uh, movie. <laughs> Sean? Is it? Oh, that wasn't it? Is no, it, that wasn't it. Is it Jumanji? No. I Nobody mean, got the fucking joke that, I, that we were doing the game thing. <laughs> Dustin did. You should have said Jumanji. I. Jumanji. <laughs> ah. Sarah. Oh God. I. <laughs> I feel like that I was organic. I, I, I can't even think of another movie that starts with I. I don't know. I don't know who's told anybody that all the movies start with I. You did. I. I, no, you, I you impolite a, it. Oh. Hey-o. This isn't a game. Now what I do? Make a joke? I, Was that a joke? I Claudius or something like that. I don't know. No. It's AI, artificial intelligence. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! tagline for that movie? Yeah, yeah it wasn't a game. That it was is a, a terrible... It was a boring-ass, sad movie. It's about robots. Yeah, and this is, it definitely wasn't a game. Yeah. The ending was... Kelly, here's the next one for you. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Might start with I. What movie has the tagline, more than your eyes have ever seen, <laughs> more than your heart has ever known? Oh. I. <laughs> the I? No. Dustin, it's more than your eyes have ever seen, more than your heart has ever known. Oh no! These uh, <laughs> uh, eyes are for you. Eyes and what? Eyes and see. You're gonna have to spell that poster for me. <laughs> <laughs> that James Bond movie. These eyes are only for fucking spies and. These eyes are only for spies. These eyes are only. These eyes are made for fucking. <laughs> these eyes are, these no, eyes are no, that's incorrect. Sean, just what the battleship. <laughs> it's got to be battleship. No, and I heard somebody in the audience talking over there an answer, and please don't do that, uh, Sarah. <laughs> well. I have a decision to make because it's more I, than your eyes have ever seen and more than your heart has ever known. Mm. Okay, well I'm just gonna say it. Okay. P.S. I love you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. That is that the next that one? was a great guess. <laughs> yeah. Though. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the tagline for a movie called The King and I. <laughs> ah yes. Yeah. Ah yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Yep. I see a theme. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get espionage one with. Attitude. Uh, pro- no. I might the know s- it. Spy? I'm- what? It can't be. With no. Melissa McCarthy? Yeah. <laughs> no. That was a good. Dustin? A golden eye. No. 
Is it I Spy? That is right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I saw that in the theater. I love that movie. All right. So Sarah and Sean have both answered one correctly. Goddamn right we have. Yeah. So this last mm-hmm. one, we're going to start with Sarah and then go to Sean. And wh- whichever one of the two of you gets it right will uh, win this game. Okay. Well, we're going to play one more game, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay. Starting with Sarah. When the world is the target (laughs) and the threat is real, you can still depend on one man. When the world is the target and the threat is real, you can still still depend depend on on one man. man. What do you think that is? No oh, man, I. <laughs> Someone sitting in traffic right now listening. To this. I can still depend on one man. I mean, shout out to people in traffic. What's up? What's up, traffic? Ah, ways, motherfucker. Think beep, hard. Beep. Uh, I don't. I don't. I. Nothing. Superman. Sean's got the answer. Well, now I'm gonna look like a chump if I don't. Is it Iron Man? No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, Are we just going until we get it? I, somebody, somebody said it. Just Golden Eye. What would you say? Golden Eye. Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Golden <laughs> Eye. Oh. <laughs> All right, Sarah gets to go first in our our final game this evening. It's called Last Man Stanton. You. <laughs> It'll go Sarah, then Sean, then me, because I'd like to play along, and then Dustin and Kelly. And uh, you got to name movies that uh, whatever person we get from the audience is in until you can't think of one. But each of you get one lifeline, which is the uh, person whose name tag you chose. Austin where, Translation. Where is Drew, Drew P305? Right on. Yep. How you doing? Did you, and your name is Drew? Yeah, Andrew. Andrew, okay. Yeah, that's smart. Simplify it for Twitter. Uh, what do you do, Andrew? Uh, I am an actor. You're an actor? But I work at uh, KU Med Center in Kansas City. That's, I'd, I'd go with that one first. That far, one's <laughs> you're an actor, but you work at Ed? in, in, in it's Kansas a far City? That's why, that's why I work there. Oh, out of work actor. All right. Well, you know, continued, not continued, because you're not. Seems like you're not working, but uh, I may be there next future. Week, buddy. Good Let's luck. Let's get together. What? You're going to Kansas City? <laughs> no, I, I out of work actor. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you there, at out of work actorville. Uh, Andrew, what's your suggestion for Last Man Stanton? Uh, Cameron Diaz. Cameron. Diaz. Let's look at the panel. <clears throat> sure. Does everybody feel comfortable with the films of Cameron Diaz? Think so. All right. So I don't have to go up to my. I don't have to go to my backup. We're gonna just play <laughs> straight up Cameron Diaz, starting with Sarah. What do you got? The Holiday. Oh wow! I would have saved that one. Well, I don't know how to do this. I know. I'm trying to think of the easy ones, but I can't think of any easy that ones. That one was very easy for me. Why, yeah. Y'all don't know came that? Right to your, came right yeah, into your head. Yeah, one of mine. Yeah. 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 Come on. I mean, all of us Jude Law files. <laughs> <laughs> that movie is porn Think of me. that movie. Sean, Cameron Diaz. The Sweetest Thing. Mm, okay. I'm going to go with... Charlie's Angles. Uh, I'm going to go with Charlie's Angles Full Throttle. Yeah, you did it. You did it. (laughs) You know what you're doing. Kelly? Shrek. Yeah. She's in fucking Shrek. (laughs) Well, that alcohol I talked about earlier is finally kicking in. (laughs) She's fucking in it. (laughs) Whatever, bro. Come on, man. Sarah? Vanilla Sky? Yeah, right? She's all like, your face is gross. <laughs> Sean? Shrek, Shrek the third. Oh, I like the way you skip around. Well, somebody, somebody was supposed to. Yeah. Oh. 
I'm not gonna mess with that shit. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna say. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna say. <laughs> Gangs of New York. Dog. Aww. That was one I probably would have saved. I oh, think. shit. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say The Mask. Oh, yeah. First, yeah. Her first film, I believe. Really? Her motion picture debut. Ooh. I remember everyone Damn, was like, she was good you see that girl in The Mask? I'm like, bro, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I? Yeah. Uh-huh. My mom took me to the matinee. <laughs> Watch okay, the- I don't need to know this creepy mom <laughs> shit. <So awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shrek like- Forever After. Oh, 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 nice. Sure, right. sure. I'm a big Shrek head. <laughs> <laughs> Puss in Boots for You're a Shrekky. You're a Shrekky. <laughs> Shrek's in effect. Shout out to my mom. She loves Shrek. <laughs> uh, but probably doesn't listen to this podcast. <laughs> Sarah? I am struggling. Okay. Uh, you can go to your lifeline. You, life you can go to Carrie. Carrie. See what she's got. She goes being, being John, John Malkovich. Malkovich. Yes! Deep. Nice. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> she on one. Bad teacher? What? Yeah. Bad teacher? Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's a good one, dude. Get a deep cut on you. Get, all right. Get something in the chamber. I'm going to just say it because it's uh, it were many titles in. <laughs> Sarah what? just got so stoked. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're many titles in and no one has said there's something about Mary. <laughs> that wasn't. <laughs> no one said Shrek. Justin. No one said Shrek 2, right? Right. No one did. That's no right. Did. All right. All right. Hey. Yeah, we're Pretty we're good. in this together, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Shrek Two is like that one. It's then there's no subtitle. It's just very s- simple, straightforward. Good job. Right. Yeah. What Kelly? T- what to expect when you're expecting? Oh no! I mean, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, she might not be in that. No, I think she's in it. Okay. In it. Oh, I got a good one. Um. <laughs> Okay, okay, so yeah. the title might be off. Oh, shit. That's going to matter. But if I describe the movie after <laughs> misnaming it... No, you got to get the shit. title right. Is it? A, is the movie called Very Bad Things? Yes. Well... And is she in that? <laughs> <laughs> right? She's in it, right? Yeah, I don't know if she's in it, but it sounds she's like people think she is. definitely so. in it. All right. Yes. Sean. Yes. It's married to Favreau when he... Lo- yeah, it's... Fucking okay. hilarious. It's a great movie. Oh, you love it's it? Fucking it's fucking crazy. You, yeah. You've never seen the movie? You know it's got Jeremy Piven in it. Right? Christian Slater, Jeremy Piven. Or is Jeremy Yeah, they, wait, are you they just do very off? bad things. Is he a creep? Are they creeps? I didn't even I don't, I don't know. know. In her He's shoes. All right. mm. Oh, in her shoes. Oh, shit. That is not a movie I would expect you to know. It's a deep cut, Playboy. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with <clears throat> any given Sunday. Oh my it's the story of ice cream treats. <laughs> it's Pagniacci. <laughs> Miss Pagniacci. Um, was it? At my best friend's wedding? No. Yeah, oh, buddy! Man. Hell yeah, big memory. She was the best friend. My BF's wedding! She wasn't the best friend. She was the woman She was the one yeah. getting married. And I Julia, Julia Roberts, Roberts, Roberts was the best the friend. Who was the best like, friend. The fuck the, the shit the best. up. She was the main I'm character, Julia so I took it as it's my best friend's wedding, and I'm going no, to the wedding as Julia Roberts. Friend no, was a man. why would you say that your wedding is your oh. best friend's wedding? She's the one getting married. Everybody chill. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> let's chill out. This has gotten it's gotten too heated. You know, let's just relax let's for just a moment. Take a chill pill. All right, Kelly. As it were. Um, man, I want to say Valentine's Day, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, well, who in the audience <laughs> dares to defy me <laughs> with your bullshit? I will tell them if they're right or wrong. You will shut the fuck up. <laughs> Valentine's Day? <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, uh... 
Sarah? I think I might be out. Oh. I don't know anymore. Well, you did a great job. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Did you use your so lifeline? Much. Yep. I All did right. already. Yeah, she used right. your lifeline. Sean? Austin, what do you got, Playboy? Oh. <laughs> Does she pop up well, in Puss in Boots? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to correct Austin the translation age old on, question. On, the, on the title. I'm going to correct him on the title. It's not actually, the full title is not Does She Pop Up in Puss in Boots. <laughs> but I guess I will go with Puss in Boots. Because Fiona's in Puss in Boots? I don't think there's any reason for her to be. I don't think Austin. she is. You're going to go with your lifeline? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not buying it. You know what she was in, though? <laughs> Tell me, Doug. She was in Blanny, the uh, Black Annie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called that. And you would get it's mad called at me. Annie. I'll say Annie. <laughs> there if, we go. If, you, if you need there we me go. to be more specific, <laughs> I was looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> Blanny. <laughs> That's what I call it, Blanny. I'm going to go see Blanny, Mom. Yeah. I think even the trades call it Blanny. <laughs> <laughs> It was a blocks office explosion. <laughs> a Bachbuster. Okay. What do you got there? Uh, I got to I got out to my lifeline. Lifeline time. Nick, Where's what's Nick? Up, Nico? Man. What do you got, Nick? Night and day. Shit. Night and day with Tom Cruise. Yeah. Good job. Shit. Do you agree? Shit. Yeah. Shit. I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Right, let's do it. I'm with you. That's right, right? Yeah. Kelly? Nice. I also have to... Steven? Let's go, Steven. All I had was night and day. Oh! <laughs> that's a prequel. That's all, all That's all any of us have is night and day. Um, <laughs> We're just living our lives. Uh, no. Son, uh, New Year's Eve. No. That's a good guess, though. That's a very good guess. One of those ensemble yeah. rom- romantic comedy yeah. casts. Why not? All right, Sean? I can go again? What, you're out? No, no. That's not, okay, he's out. out. I'm not out. It's just me and Dustin? Yeah. Are you, you playing? Jumanji. Yeah. She was yeah, I'm playing. Who are you playing for? Nobody. That's bullshit, man. I'm playing for myself. You, you're just going to take the prizes home, you selfish yeah. bastard. I'll walk out with all this shit. I already took the yellow glasses. Those were awesome. Oh, man. And you took the Fuego kids. Don't forget about those. You put them back. I put them in there. Yeah, Yeah. I just ate a few and put them in there, which is what what everybody wants from a bag of candy. What a gentleman. I didn't know Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with a movie that I'm obsessed with, and I held it in my back pocket till now. Mm -hmm. It's a crazy-ass movie called... Audition. Why are you... You're out. It's called My Sister's Keeper. Yeah, if you ever get a chance to see that movie, it's messed up. Mm-hmm. Doesn't will, her daughter have cancer? You will cry. Her daughter has cancer. She wants her other daughter to constantly undergo treatments to help the 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 one daughter uh, survive the cancer, and the and the daughter that uh, is undergoing the treat- treatments sues the family, saying, "Fuck that! I just want to live my life. I don't need to save my sister." It's messed up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you got to see it. Al- Alec Baldwin. Wow. She's married to Alec Baldwin? <laughs> yeah, she's Gross. married to Alec Baldwin. She's 13. She's married to Alec Baldwin. <laughs> so it's a documentary. Do you have anything, Dustin? The films of Cameron Diaz. I think we've really... I think she quit. We've, like, I, I we've, yeah, I think that's we've really exhausted uh, all the stuff she's been in. I feel like we could knock but there's one more gotta, out of that. There's got to be one more. One more out of that Cameron Diaz pinata. You can do one it. One more piece of candy. You can do it. What is it? Everybody quiet. Come on. Yeah. Um, let's, let's all be quiet. Everybody. Everyone's got one in their head. If heavy breathing was there's the movie a, that a she guy was in. That's heavy breathing. Sounds like the title is heavy breathing. <laughs> she must have been the voice in some cartoon or something. Man. She was in four Shreks. That's true. I know, we did be name some all of those. Defensive driving video I can name or something. That Shrek. Some kind of Shrek. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Southwest Air. Welcome. To Air. <laughs> it's your first time flying American Airlines. Um, Dustin, let me just give you some good news right now. I just want, uh, uh, while, while you're working through this, what? You're our winner. <laughs> what? Oh, you did man. it. You lasted what? the longest. Oh my God, I lasted the longest. Yeah, That's one it. thing I can do. Not you did it. I can just sit there. <laughs> yeah, Nick, come get your prizes, dude. Congratulations. Nick, there you go. I'm taking this there you Twix. Go, man. That's all. There, there you go. Cool. And yeah, just pass it. I don't need Nick's anymore because he, he won. Do you want those Reese's, though? 
I'll take the fucking Reese's. Are you kidding me? Take that shit. There you go, Nick. There's your uh, there's your name tag if you want it back. <laughs> if you're interested in that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, congratulations, Dustin. You did it. Do you want to uh, promote it? Yeah, do you want to plug in a anything? Long time. Promote yourself. Plug something. Uh, watch Kevin probably saves the world. Um. That's it, man. Just watch it. Go home right ABC, now. ABC, there's still a few episodes left. I don't know where it comes on, but no. <laughs> yeah, ABC <laughs> and uh, Hulu. You can go check it out on Hulu. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, Jason Ritter. We, we hope you get picked up for another Yoop. season. Thanks, man. I want to keep shopping at Target, so yeah. <laughs> hope that works out. Okay. Target, ex- like, is that... Target, is Target is the only... <laughs> That's free- Wow, you're like rich. No, I just ta- I like steal makeup from there, but I don't really. Like That's where I got makeup? the face mask from. <laughs> oh, you stole that shit? That's it's pretty, pretty wild. easy. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Opening mail, stealing face masks. I didn't open the mail; it was my roommate. Oh. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly sure. McInerney, uh, your guy uh, Steve Wars doesn't have a shithead on his thing, right? No, he doesn't. So he's got. What do you? Wh- who do you want me to call a shithead, Stephen? Dog. Okay, I got it. Say a word. I'm writing it down. Kelly, what do you got to promote? Uh, I am D Weed. We have a new episode today where we talk about Infinity Wars. It's pretty fun. And uh, I don't know, I'm on a bunch of shows. You could check out kellymacinery.net for all that. And Holly Weirdo, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you. Yeah. You! Sarah? Uh, I have a relatively new podcast called Loner at Coil Wolf Creek. And it's me in the future reminiscing about the past, which is the right now. So it's weird. (laughs) It's really weird. But please listen to it because I like it a lot. Sure. All right. Cool. Sean Jordan. Uh, I co-host a weekly podcast called All Fantasy Everything with Ian Carmel and David Borey. So we just draft, we fantasy draft everything except sports. So like the Taco Bell menu or the mall or like... (laughs) Songs that you. What was the last one you, that you did? Perfect. Songs that you're ninety percent sure you want to fight somebody after you listen to them. <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun. It's long. It's lengthy, but it's fun. We bullshit and it's fun. It's lengthy. How long is an episode? Couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> you're that's in not traffic. Too bad. It's yeah, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, a few hours isn't bad. That's like a commute. Yeah, it's like yeah. an hour and forty, hour fifty, somewhere in there. All right. But yeah, listen to that if you feel so inclined. Otherwise, just keep listening to this because this is fucking awesome. Yeah, you know what? Just keep listening to this. Don't. <laughs> There's no reason to check out that other thing. <laughs> but thank you again to all of my guests, Sean Jordan, Sarah Schaefer, Kelly McInerney, and yeah. Dustin Ibarra. As always, people named Corey are shitheads. <laughs> It says Corey. <laughs> why, why do I have too many of these? I got one from the st- Star Wars helmet. And why? Austin gave you two. What? No, I gave you one. Just do the piece of paper. Oh, just the piece of paper? Yeah. And what's... The, oh, instead of the... <laughs> instead of this? Yes. Okay. But that's two if I'm counting. All right. Oh, it's on a BuzzFeed thing. This guy might work for BuzzFeed or something. Good act there. Trump deciding to exit the uh, Iran nuclear deal is a shithead. So that was like, you wrote that down last minute. Like you were just like, that's really been bothering me that he did that. Yeah, all right. And people who don't pick up their dog's crap are a shithead.